Hey guys, back again, and today, guys, is some more random pickup videos. I like to show you guys what I've been picking up and stuff, guys. Uh, I think a lot of you guys do appreciate it as well, so massive thanks to you people. But got this game, guys, and I must say, this has been deal and bargain of the week, guys, probably in more than one way. It was brand new and sealed, guys, as you guys can see at the PS4. Dogs toys are everywhere down there, guys. Uh, as the PS4 logo, when I can bloody see it, as you guys can see, is it going to focus on it? As you can see, so it wasn't even sealed. Had to open it though, guys, because the disc was loose. But upon opening it, guys, I found out it's got a double sided cover, which I'll get to, guys. But got this game, guys, for £3.49. I mean, £3.45. I keep saying £3.49, guys. But. I just wanted to show this, guys, because I think a lot of people sometimes think I'm talking out of my bloody ass. But I basically screenshot it, guys. I just blurred out the seller's information, guys. But as you guys can see from here, guys, was not joking. I got the game brand new and sealed for £3.45. And um, as you guys can see, and I said this it was German brand new package. Fair enough. I was um, happy with that, guys. So, I can now show away from it. But here's the game itself, guys. Like I said, I was happy at that price. I've never seen this game, guys. And the main reason I bought it was it was a new and sealed game that I don't own, guys. For £3.45, you really could lose more money than that on a McDonald's cheeseburger, to be honest with you. So, I thought, you know, why not? You know, even if the game's bad at £3.45, what does it matter? I didn't plan on opening it, guys. Didn't want to keep it new and sealed, but the disc was loose, so I didn't have no damn choice. But we'll get into it, guys, so you can see it. Here's the back, guys. Um, I'll come in so you guys can read. Or, well, actually, good luck reading that. It's all in German. So, unless you're from Germany, uh, I ain't got a clue what it says. I really don't. Dog's moaning. He's in his naughty um, cage, guys. Literally, he knows what he's in there for. Been a naughty boy. He went, we had the back door open for him to go to the toilet, and he thought, it's raining and it's cold, and I'm going to do it on the floor. So instead, he's in his naughty den. As would people say, oh, that's nasty, naughty, you shouldn't tell him off. Well, he's a, you know, the end of the day, you got to tell your dog off, and that's how we do it. He gets crated, he gets told he's naughty boy. And he's staying there for like half an hour to an hour. He comes out, and he gets told once again, don't you do it again. And guess what, ten minutes later, he'll probably do it again. He don't like going out in the rain. He really doesn't. Um, so, yeah, what can you say? Would anyone want to go out in the rain? But anyway, go off tandem, guys. Here is the um, universal cover, guys. So, pretty cool. I like it. I like it. But before he did his uh, accident on the floor, guys, he was playing with his toys, as you guys can see. That thing's hilarious. It's basically a dog's ass. I don't know. I'm going off tandem, guys. I can't help it. You know me. I'm easy to distract the guys. I'm like a fucking magpie. As soon as I see something in the background, I've got to bring it up. And, that. and I think what's awesome made me like that, guys, is just the way that things keep going wrong for us, you know. And then people have to, you have to explain what everything is nowadays, you know. So, is what it is. But anyway, guys, what else did we pick up, guys? We got the WWE's Extreme Rules. Main reason for picking this up, guys, is Bray Wyatt returned at this event. Also, really great main event was, um, oh, what match was it? It was this one, but I'm sure I think what it was called. I can't remember what it was called, but basically they did like a uncaged fight with the, they made it like with uh, Seth Rollins and uh, uh, what's his fucking name, Matt Riddle. I don't like Matt Riddle too much. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of him, but. It was a good match overall. It was a good match on there, but Bray Wyatt's return was awesome. We all thought it was going to happen. Then we thought, actually, it's not going to happen because the show's coming to an end. But no, it did. It's cool. Moving on to the next game, guys. This game, I didn't pick this one up. My wife picked it up. I didn't even know this existed, and I didn't even know it was coming until today when my wife just gave it to me and went, by the way, did you got this game, and I got you this. And that's arcade again, guys. I have no idea what this game is. I'm really hyped for it, though. It looks really, really good. And she surprised me with this one. And I I was literally like, I don't even know what it is. That, that says a lot, doesn't it, guys? When your own wife can find a game that apparently I'm meant to be a gamer, guys. And I didn't even know this game existed. I didn't. I seriously didn't. Uh, but I won't lie, guys. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you do. You do. On to the next game. She did that as well, guys. Um, 
So, Arcade again. She does do a lot. She really does, guys. I mean, I'm trying to think of the other. What's the other games you found that I didn't know about? I don't know, but recently I've discovered the new Lego that's coming out, and you didn't know that. Before. No, I didn't know 2K Drive was coming out till you told me. Yeah, like that hard to play. So, this is one. Anyway, guys, here's the back 10 gigs. It looks like a multiplayer online game, but it's actually not, because you can see here it says one player, and even says here, look, play solo or with up to three friends and a cooperative multiplayer shooter. I will obviously do a game plan on it, guys, and I will confirm if there's bots, whatnot. I don't understand anything about the game. I really, really don't, guys, so I do apologise if I'm not really doing much justice or help for this one, guys, but I will be doing some game plan on it, guys. Stay tuned. That will be coming up on the channel. And the last game, guys, is a mistake. Uh, not a mistake in buying it, just a mistake in how I found it, guys. So, Steel Rat. Basically, I was looking for a game for my mum and dad. They were asking me to look for Lego games for the PS4. They wanted to know what they were and that sort of price range. And I was going through and telling them. And then this game came up, guys. And I was like, what is that? I ain't even got that. The cover really brought me in. I was like, what is this? Upon doing research, I did hear, I did know about this game, but I uh, didn't even know it was out, guys. Last time I heard about this game, it was at E3 about four or five years ago, something like that. Maybe less than that. I'm maybe exaggerating all the time, but... That was the last time I heard about it, guys, and they didn't really have gameplay as such. They just had a little bit of, like, an intro, and then it was it, and now, all of a sudden, it's out. And anyway, guys, it was, long story short, it was $24.99 in brand new, as you guys can see, it's sealed, but there is a secret, and it's not really sealed, guys. I had to open it, which I'll get to. So, disc was loose, guys, but anyway, right, before we get to that, $24.99, and I said, oh, I like that, and I'll screenshot it. And then the wife heard me, and she was like, what, you screenshot, and what game is it? And I told her, and she was like, oh, cool, have a look at how much it is. And as a point looking it up, guys, this game goes for 80, 100, and more. And it's like, what? Like, when did that happen? I didn't even know the game had even released. Never mind, when did it creep up that high? So I took advantage of it, guys, and we picked up for $24.99. I said, it is new and sealed. It really was. I had to open it today because the disc was loose, guys. And I had to open it from the top and slide it out. But at least I keep the cover nice and pristine. Because I don't know about you guys, but these actual um, slip covers that for someone like myself, like I call it OCD tendencies, it bugs me, guys. It bugs me. I can't just take them off, rip them, chuck them away. I'd rather this didn't come with them because sometimes they're a bit of a bitch when you've got some OCD like I have and you get a crease in it and whatnot. It annoys me, guys. It annoys me. I'm not the only one out there. I know I'm not. I'm not the only loony bin out there doing it. Um, I mean, you know, the Resident Evil 4 one's a bit different, you know, this has got a bit of like a holographic, it's more plasticky, you can't really bend it unless you tried. But this is cardboard, you're gonna wreck it, you're gonna dent it, you're gonna get marks in the corners, it's gonna wind you up. So I'd just rather that you just didn't do it, because there's no difference, guys, you can see it's cardboard, and when you slide it out, guess what, it's the same picture on the inside, so it doesn't make no difference, guys. But yeah, r steel rats, guys. Really, really different. I uh, will be putting some gameplay up on the channel at some point, guys, don't know when, but... Yeah, if you haven't got this game in your collection yet, guys, you might want to look out for it, because this is going to be one of them hidden gems, yeah, that is quite rare and hard to get a hold of as it is, and I guarantee you guys, you'll be kicking yourself later in life when you see the price of this. I mean, like Godzilla, guys. I got Godzilla when it first came out, and I love the game. I think it's pretty good. I like my, my I'll say cheese, guys. It's what it is, cheese games, you know, where people think crap, crap, boring, whatever. I really liked it, though, and I cannot believe that Godzilla now goes for around 250 hundred ninety eighty. 80. It's like, what? When did that happen? I got it like 54 quid brand new when it first came out, when that was when, you know, and wow. Ridiculous, guys. Ridiculous. But anyway, if I sound a little bit off, guys, do apologize. I've been up all night looking after the wife because she's got a, a massive toothache at the moment. She's got an infection in her tooth. And as you all know, in the current situation, unfortunately, getting into a dentist isn't as easy as just ringing up and going, hello, I've got a toothache, come on down. They make you wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. She did go to her first appointment, but they said that it was too infected for her to have it removed, so they gave her antibiotics and blah de blah de blah And now she's waiting to go back, and they're going to do root canal on it and all this stuff. And yeah, well, I know it's random when we be talking about it, guys, but I just thought, you know, why not? You know me, I'm raw, and everything comes out of my mouth is just fucking random, so why not? So I thought I'd tell you guys, you know, so she's not feeling too good. She's a bit under the weather. I'm looking after her the best I can, you know, giving her the mouthwashes and keeping an eye on her, make sure she's all right in that. And I let her have the whole bed to herself last night so she could prop the pillars up and be really up, bolt upright near enough in bed and that. But, 
Yeah, I know what's like. You got a toothache. I've had a, two major bad ones in my time. But I didn't like. Recently had one, guys. You know, I was talking about it, but uh, literally not yesterday, but the day before that, actually rested that little bit, fell out. So now I shouldn't be able to get any abscesses there anymore. Hopefully, so that's one thing, guys. But anyway, guys, that's random. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, like I said, guys. Let me know down below what you think of these unboxings. Let me know what you think of these pickups. Like I said, this one, I had no clue about it. The wife found this one. I found that one on off chance, guys, at £3.45p. I thought, bloody hell, I'm going to get that as a bargain of the year, I think. And then um, picked up this one, been wanting for a while. For some reason, it's coming up in price everywhere, but I managed to get it for £7.99, so I'm happy about that. And then, like I said, guys, steel rats. Keep your eyes open for this one, guys, because it's going to come back to bite you in the ass if you're a PS4 full collector or just wanting to get some random games. This one's going to bite you in the ass later. It's going to be one of them hard-to-get games that's going to cost you over £100 or more. It's already getting up there now, so if you see it cheap, guys... Even if it's crap, I don't know if it's crap or good, I don't know. But if you see it, guys, pick it up. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, on that note, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. Hopefully, you like the random unboxings and random talks, guys. If you do, let me know down below, whatnot. But I like to do it for you guys. I mean, I like to put my content as I like to see other people's content. And I like seeing people's pickups and what they're getting and what they're selling and what they found and all that. Like, I find it interesting, guys. So, the end of the day, that's why I pass it on back. Because I, I really do get a kick out of watching what people pick up and stuff. So, hopefully, you get the same uh, feeling I get, guys. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.